Well, hello, my friends. I'm glad you joined us today. Well, it's been a difficult week, and this week, uh, last week's been difficult. We've been going through my mom's house and trying to get ready for an estate sale, and uh, and this week, of course, we're trying to finalize everything you see in the background. Probably a lot of things that we've pulled out, and when my dad passed away, uh, mom never did clean out his stuff, so we're actually doing double duty with. My my dad's stuff and my mom's stuff and a lot of things are real sentimental you know we're pulling things aside and we my sisters are here and we talk about how things used to be and so on and i'm sure many of you have been through the same same things but mom and dad of course uh you know besides stuff that they had and we've gone through and seen uh some of their notes and sermon materials and of course, uh, we're saving those things and cassette tapes, lots of cassette tapes with mom and dad sermons on them. And, but uh, this week, I thought that this week uh, I would give devotionals, use my nuggets at noon to just talk a, a little bit about some of the sermon titles. I won't preach the sermon that they had, but some of the sermon titles uh, that they uh, that we remember through the years and, of course, We'll just scrape the surface, obviously. But today, to give you an example, today I want to talk a moment about a sermon title that my mom preached, and the title of the message was God's Not Dead, But He Is About Sick. Now, I want you to think about it just a moment. Some of you that are familiar with the Word of God, try to think about where that scripture might have come from. God's not dead, but he is about sick. Now, mom preached this message, if I'm not mistaken. She preached it during a period of time where uh, a lot of people in our culture and here in America were saying that God's dead. Um, and, of course, we know that God's not dead, but she used it. She, mom was really good with titles. Dad was, too. But, um, but anyway, she, she, it, it catches your attention. God is not dead, but he is about sick. Well, if you've been wondering where that came from, it actually came from Revelation chapter 3, verse number 16, where it was talking about the lukewarm church. And he said that, that he would rather uh, the church be cold or hot, but because they were lukewarm, he would spew them or vomit them out of his mouth. And so the message went, God's not dead, but he is about sick because there's so much of the church today that is lukewarm. It's not on fire. Uh, or, you know, they're, some of them are really just cold, you know. And so, uh, but God wants us to be on fire for him. He wants us to have the zeal and the, the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost in our life. And, and so um, I just ask you today, uh, I, are you making God sick? I, I don't want to. I don't want to make him sick. I want to be uh, on fire for God, for him. I want to have the zeal of God and the Holy Spirit burning within my heart. And uh, so I just challenge you also. God's not dead. He never will die. He, uh, But is he sick with what he sees in your life, in the church that you attend, the church in general? I hope, I hope, I hope not. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We'll try to find a, have another sermon title from mom or dad that we'll, just expound on a little bit. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.